in the middle on. I hadn't seen it enough to really care. I have played um, Hacienda, and I can tell you it has the worst hard, some of the worst hard point spawns in the game. It is just absolutely well, atrocious. Well, it wasn't in for hard point. It was only in for domination. Oh, and, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. That's good. Yep. <clears throat> yep. So, um, I would like to see those maps in the rotation, because then we wouldn't have this, where we get into a best of seven, and you have raid twice and standoff three times, but... You know, that wasn't, uh, ultimately wasn't my decision. We do have a little bit of a lead for, uh, for Tribe off the rip here. But it does look like we have a, uh, at least slight re-break coming through for the side of the Goofy Goobers, who have kept this thing just five points away. Now, getting ready to rotate over to our P2. Gonna have to be looking at players that are trying to anchor the spawns. For the side of Tribe, it's gonna be Bolu playing the, uh, backside of stairs. And then we can see Envy is tucked away, goes for the challenge, does lose out on that gunfight. And not only do Tribe take away more points on the P1, their spawns are set up and stacked for P2. Yeah, right now Bolu's in a really good spot. Not only does he have six kills, but he's sitting on a four spree. Unfortunately for him, Envy's going to round that corner and shut things down pretty quickly. That's going to be absolutely huge just because of the impact that those streaks can have, especially on this map. But... Bolu comes running up the stairs and absolute guns blazing finds himself on another two streak already. Blur doesn't really have the read and that's gonna get him taken out. Envy there to take out Bolu once again. Maybe a little vendetta between those two. He's gonna find kill number five as he looks to push in the back side. Finds the opener, but Jez is there for the trade. That's one of the players that arguably could have been in the conversation for MVP this season. Obviously his teammate Vague taking things but it is going to be Seminole coming away with P1 time and the lead as they make the rotation. P3, one of those money hills where you really cannot afford, especially if you're going in at a disadvantage to lose any type of time. Band going to get taken out by the Pred Missile at the hands of Jez right there. And that's going to soften the defense right there as Tribe looks to make the push on it. We're still within a single hard point of Goofy Goobers bringing things back. They are going to be the first on the hill here, but Slothy making the rotation over, finds one, finds two, line him up, knock him down, get solo for number three. Might be looking for a number four here, but bam, he's going to take him down, but fortunately for Slothy, his team's on the hill. He gets a respawn right in the little workout room cubby. He's going to be right back in the action for his team, pulling out the purifier and immediately getting dumpstered. Wow, huge feed for Washi right there to secure really any type of time on this hard point. Ban pushing up, trying to get some time, but he's going to get shut down as well. And right now, it's just too much tribe. They are winning gunfights left and right. Marshy, the only player significantly in the negative. Vague 14 and 9. Jez, plus 8 right now, doing his best. And he's got full streaks to work with as well. Sitting on another two streak, and if he can continue to stack, might be able to cycle those at some point as takes some shots in the back. Envy spawning out right on top of the hill. Jez looking to call in that cluster strike, and unfortunately for Solo, he has no idea that he's spawning in right there. Contested hard point for the time being, but Jez, his unskill is close to unmatched, at least at this level of the game. Now sitting on 16 and 5, triple positive, even higher than that right now, and looking to get some more streaks here as well. Oh my gosh, he's so good! This is uh, definitely a big game for Jez, who puts up four in the feed here. Slothy finds a couple of his own, and we've got got... Uh, Three players really fragged out on the side of Seminole. Jez with 20 on board, Vague with 16, Slothy with 16 as well. You look over at the opposition and nobody's touching that on the side of the Goofy Goobers. Bolu has 12, which is basically tied for top frag on the side of the Goobers. Marshy is playing a little bit down right now. I, I mean, so here's the thing. I want, I want to give Marshy the excuse of he's 9 and 11, but he's got a minute on the hill. Bro, Jez is 22 and 6 with two minutes on the hill. What on earth? Gig, you have no right to call yourself the best player in North America. Jez is your superior. <laughs> what are you saying, Bobby? I, uh, Jez is literally Big's dad? Is that, is he's that what He's literally his dad, dude. He's everybody's dad right now. Good lord. He, he's got an annihilator ready to go. I mean, he's not missed a shot. 
is he gonna oh my gosh i thought he's gonna take envy off the tac 5 there as well just absolutely running the lobby right now 26 and 7 nearly quad positive right now blur's making his way up interestingly enough using the m67 amex obviously kind of a replacement for him to be able to take out uh, a replacement for the sks he's able to take out vega on the way in and bolu there for the trade marshy finally stacking up some kills he finds himself on the six spree and now has a pred missile and pretty close to a lightning strike as well and with this gap growing as far as it is it seems like right now it is a pretty long shot for goofy goobers to close this gap in any type of significant way yeah i mean this is seminal absolutely dominating right now they are about to cross into the 200 point mark and we've got goofy goobers at 65 and you know i don't want to call it a curse but you know verdict is never right on this stuff and uh yeah the goofy goobers winning this uh four three obviously it's not over it's only game one but uh yo if seminal are gonna play like or tribe i, I keep looking at the uh the overlay in obs and it still says seminal Contact but um and tribe if they're gonna play like this all night then this this could honestly be a jez trouble. won that he was mid concuss and still hit the final shot he's on oh my gosh jez has almost 40 kills the he next has, closest is 23. he has over a 5 kd he's on a six spree again he's got a cluster strike to work with there's a player around the corner that's gonna be a free kill right there i'm this is th this might be the most dominant performance i have ever seen in a in a pro setting especially a grand finals it's one thing to do it in, in a regular season match but to be doing this in a grand finals is just absolutely absurd he's sitting on 40 and 8 right now and there is absolutely nothing that goofy goobers can do about it tribe gets the break right there and they get the win in hard point 250 to 67 what did i just watch you just watched the pain train that is jez from the 76 i mean oh my goodness what an absolute cracked madman coming through that game and uh ended up putting up 40 kills nobody else even hit 30 i mean it's and nobody hit 20 on goofy goobers dude oh my god draw stand out Chez, why you gotta do that to them? I, that, I... And two minutes and four seconds on the hill! It's not like he was just sitting in corners the whole time either lurking in off angles. I mean... I think he might be the best COD mobile player in the world right now. That That's just a different type of dominance that we have not... Uh, we haven't seen that before. Especially at this level of competition. Man.